all about. When the Prophet sallallahu speaks in the hadith of Uthman ibn Affan radiallahu anhu in Sahih al-Bukhari, he speaks about who is the best from amongst you. You want to know? The best from amongst us. I can give you one or two narrations. Let's say three narrations. One says, Khayrukum. This is the hadith of Uthman radiallahu anhu. Khayrukum. Man ta'allama al-Qur'ana wa'allamahu. The best from amongst all of you is the one who learns the Quran and teaches it. And this is not confined only to one who teaches Alif and Ba and who teaches all the, you know, the Fatha and Kasra. That is a part of it. But more so, it is the teachings of revelation. Whoever has dedicated some time or a lot of time or most of their time to learning what their creator has revealed and learning it thoroughly and properly. The, the instructions, the do's and the don'ts, understanding it, putting it into practice and conveying it to others. Nobody can be better than that person. Nobody can be better than that person. Why? Because the whole purpose of this short life, short life is just a few minutes. To be honest with you, you can calculate how many minutes is 60, 70 years. The short life, the whole purpose of it is to prepare for the eternal life. That's what the Muslims believe. And for your information, the Jews and Christians believe something quite similar to that. They would tell you, you are preparing for the eternal life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good preparation. So if we lose focus even for a moment, we would be at a loss. And the one who constantly reminds us, listen, very carefully, if someone tells us, listen, you are supposed to be preparing for the day you're going. Is this what you are doing? Is it going to benefit you? Is it going to help you in any way? Cut it out. If it's not, cut it out. You know, when I travel, every airline has different rules and regulations. So some of them tell you 23 kilos. Some tell you 23 kilos by two. Some say not more than 30 kilos. Some say a bag should not have more than 32 kilos. Try to break that rule. See what happens. Try to come up with 26, 27 kilos. Try. You know what will happen? They will fine you. They will charge you. Or you will have to remove things. And this is why a lot of us who travel a lot, we've only got necessities in our bags. That's it. Brother, you came all the way from Africa. You've just got a bag in your hand? Yes. Why? I don't need anything else. I'm not going to carry my whole life with me. I'm traveling. The hadith says, lead your life as though you are a traveler. Lead your life as though you are a traveler. You want to gather everything and you forgetting the main focus. Today, people tell you, my main aim in life is to be able to own the three big buildings in the center of Tobago. I hope Tobago has big buildings, inshallah. My aim in life is to own those three buildings. So he starts working at the age of 10, 15. Perhaps he is so focused and dedicated. Listen to this example. So focused and dedicated that at the age of 50, he owns those three buildings. Wow. What was required to do that? Focus and dedication. Two things. He knew what he wanted. He was focused on it and he was dedicated. He made sure he got it. And then at the age of 60, the uncle on his deathbed, may Allah protect us all. And then he says, wow, I really am excited. I've accomplished everything in my life. I wanted those three buildings and I got them. Now I'm dying. Goodbye. Would that be a foolish person? 